I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. That you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances. So I applaud you for your dreaming, for your running toward your dream. I applaud you for believing in yourself because that's what life is about, stretching and challenging, looking for ways that you can begin to improve yourself. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. I just was focused on the work. I just said I want to do great work. Whatever I'm asked to do, I just want to kill it. Growing up, I was a dancer. It allowed you to express yourself and be authentic, but also be incredibly disciplined. Discipline, I get up 5 a.m. every morning. I always worked really, really hard to try to learn things I wasn't exposed to, finance being one of them, which is why how I ended up you know, being an investment analyst. I would say confidence, number one, is the most important thing. So I think what mattered most in my being here at, uh, at Harvard in terms of, of myself is, is my individuality. I think that something that I do well is just be myself. Early on in my life, I discovered a certain level of resilience in myself. I can take a fair amount of rejection or hurt and still bounce back. Well, I can pretty much talk to anybody, and I love talking to people from all different walks of life. You know, I've always been the type of person that speak my mind. I, I don't care if, you know, I don't care how you know, people feel as long as I'm speaking my mind and speaking my truth. You know, we have typically as a people some strengths that many other people don't have in the same way. You know, growing up in the neighborhood, you know when you're being gained. First of all, to be black at Harvard means that to be blessed, to be fortunate, to be in a position that most others will never have the opportunity to be. To be back at Harvard means to be part of a very special community. People are watching you, people are listening to what you have to say, and you're expected to make a difference and do great things. Black at Harvard, is, it means, uh, first of all, I believe both, both uh, words, black and Harvard, are synonyms for excellence. Being a black student here means that you actually get to be a somewhat representative of a large group of people who don't get to be in the room. There aren't very many of us, I think on average between 50 to 100 students are admitted a year. We represent a different segment of the world and it's incredibly meaningful to us to be able to give back positively what we've learned here. We're here on campus and we are truly sitting next to future world leaders who very rarely interact with people who come from different places as them, who look different than them. It's being able to have a story that you can share that will make your classmates who are gonna be future leaders to make a better informed decision it also means that we have a really big duty once we leave here to give back to the community, to give back to um, all those who helped us to get to where we are. My mission isn't really about what I'm going to be able to accomplish for myself. It's about how can I best use my talents to empower others to do better. I admire people that have the drive to be successful and do the right thing. So I admire everybody that wake up every morning to try to provide for their family try to do the right thing, try to make history, and try to, you know, give back in the world also because, you know, we always want to take, 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 and, 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 and this is a world that's in need of, of, of great help, mm -hmm. you know, so I think the, the, the best gift that you can have in life is to be able to give back. You know, ASU has, has allowed us to do well here uh, with the support and the backbone that it provides for black students at Harvard. Just being surrounded by positive, educated black people who are all aspiring to accomplish uh, many things has been a wonderful experience. It really is the family, uh, the hub for African American students here at Harvard Business School. A couple of purposes in terms of being a social hub, but also being a pillar of support in terms of academics, um, in terms of uh, professional advancement, and in terms of just emotional support. ASU to me is family. We're definitely not a majority here at school. But what we offer to each other is a network of people who you know have each other's back. The bars are in front of us. We're in the prison and we're holding the key. And we could open the door anytime we want. We just don't. 
What it took for me to get here was definitely not very easy. It took a lot of hard work. It took a lot of outsiders and others to believe in me and to help me along the way. I didn't grow up thinking that, you know, I'm going to go to Harvard Business School. At first, I didn't really think that HBS would be a place that I could be accepted into. I didn't think that I was smart enough or had the right experience. Um, but really taking the chance to know that um, this could be a place for me, I took the risk and applied and got accepted. So my grandmother is a, uh, is a special lady, but she is the strength behind so much of me. Uh, she introduced me to God, she introduced me to my faith. She is a woman that always looked after and took care of a lot, a lot of different people. She didn't have a lot, we didn't have a lot. So when I, when I, whatever I do in life, I think about her because she never asked me in all of my years what grades I ever got in school. Not, not once, she just always said, whatever you do, be the best that you can be and give it your fullest effort. So less about who I am as a person, but the people that were around me. Um, a lot of it starts with my mother. Um, her focus for our whole life is really about our education. I grew up in a single parent home. Um, with a mom that worked extremely hard. The whole reason that I'm here is really because of my mom and my family. If my mom gives me something to do and I don't do it, she's gonna check on me. and She's gonna check me on the fact that I didn't do it. She always encouraged me to do bigger, to dream better, and that's something that I'm really grateful for. So a couple of things my mom did really well was implementing baby steps. You know, if you want someone to go off to college at 18 and make smart decisions, you need to train them on how to make good decisions, whether it's picking out your outfit, whether it's um, doing chores so you could have an allowance and teaching you how to spend your money, you know, from a little, from a young child, having you make these small steps where you're able to build judgment early on, I think was one thing that she did really well. I think of a couple of things my mom taught me very early. She says it might not be your fault, but it's your responsibility. Ignoring what happened before, ignoring who did what, ignoring what got in the way, it is your responsibility to perform. It is your responsibility to get your job done. It's your responsibility to do what you say you're going to do, regardless of what got in your way. And I, I think that so much of the time, especially people of color, we spend a lot of time trying to be what people want us to be. And I think that the people who have been the most successful people of color in business or in entertainment or whatever category you want to say, those were the ones who are the most original and the most clearly driven by their own sense of self. I think people make a very big effort to think of women or to think of African Americans, but when it comes to thinking of African American women specifically, I think people don't necessarily make an, a special effort to, to, to do so. Being a black woman means that you can't hide. I mean, everybody knows you're a black woman when you walk in the room, so you should be yourself when you walk in. Other people will appreciate your authenticity more than they would not. I truly believe that women like myself have a huge duty. So to whom much is given, given, much is required. We have a huge duty to set the tone for how women of color should carry themselves and what they should aspire to. We really do you know, care about people in like a motherly way. You know, we do really believe in community and uplifting other, one another. And I'm excited to see uh, what the impact will be as we go forward and we become more impactful as leaders, you know, 5, 10, 20 years from now. As a woman, you just have to be yourself. And some people aren't going to like it, some people will like it, but um, you have to stay true to who you are and, you know, it'll, it'll all work out. The two worst words that a person could ever hear was, not bad, good job, because they walk away thinking they did fine and they could do better. They leave a lot on the table. The Harvard Network is one of the most welcoming and powerful networks of any organization or institution in the world. Harvard Business School was a transformative experience. Easily the best two years of my life. Um, two years that I grew and I was shaped and molded in ways that I never could have imagined. Um, from an academic perspective, I learned so much. You, you never know who's going to be the next CEO. You never know who's going to raise the next billion dollar fund. You never know who's going to connect you with your next mentor. I feel blessed and lucky to be here.